Um, you, you say we, we wouldn't be able to explain it, but of course you allow that we could have evidence that would be sufficient to identify my sensation of red with the sensation I get when I see something red with a certain neural state. And we could have evidence to identify the sensation you get when you see something green with a certain neural state in your head. But then what if those turned out to be the same neural state? The one you get when you see green is exactly the same as ah. the one I get when I see red. Now, if you're willing to identify each of those sensory experiences with the neural state, then the fact that the one I get when I see red is the same as the one you get when you see green ought to seem to you, or, or, as far as I can see, you ought to say that that would be evidence for an inverted spectrum. Very good. Now here, uh, uh, this, uh, this strikes me at the moment anyway as a, a, uh, uh, a good way of providing, devising an explication for what up to this point uh, we've had no, we have, haven't been able to assign any meaning to. And this is meaningful. And that would be, that would be, uh, yes, that, that would be very nice. And here, here we've got a, a, a what uh, has seemed to be a, an empty phrase, uh, just the, the standing off there at the side uh, on the shelf, uh, waiting uh, to be filled. Uh, and uh, here's, a, here's a filling that just goes nicely into it. So you're friendly enough to introspection so that if we could assign an empirical meaning uh, to the inverted spectrum, you'd be willing to count, countenance it as a meaningful claim. Uh, yes, yes, and this would, have been, this would be a matter of, of uh, rescuing uh, uh, something from that uh, uh, dismal mentalistic realm and uh, giving it some, uh, well, to ch change the metaphor, giving it some respectability. I don't see how introspection enters into it, though. Why do you say that uh, Professor Coyne is friendly enough to introspection to agree with this? Introspection isn't involved. Well, I guess the introspection is involved in that uh, when you, you, you say, I'm having a sensation of red now, and it turns out there's always the same brain state going on. But what's important is you're saying certain things and you're looking at certain things that we can all see to be red, uh, and uh, that being correlated with a certain brain state. And one doesn't really have to rely on introspective evidence, I think, to reach but the conclusion that... In the conclusion, no, and that's the beauty of it, yeah. I'd say. That we start out with, with the problem in introspective terms, but it turns out, well, it's just a matter of uh, uh, this person having the same uh, uh, neural state when he looks at a, uh, uh, at a live lobster uh, as uh, the other person does after the uh, uh, lobster's been broiled and change from green to red. <laughs> Good example. So, the, as far as you're concerned, the, um, the inverted spectrum is a meaningful hypothesis uh, relative to this sort of neural instantiation of it. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, that looks all right to me. Professor Klein, I'd like to ask you to comment on an argument that's being given um, against the claim that uh, physical science, physics and physiology and so on can tell the whole story about experience. And it's the so-called knowledge argument developed by the Australian philosopher Frank Jackson. So a quick review of the argument. Um, we imagine a scientist, I think the scientist is called Mary. Mary is allowed to know everything there is to know about physical science, including everything there is to know about physiology and certainly everything there is to know about the physiology of vision but Mary has learnt all her science from um, books and from black and white television, so there's something surely that Mary doesn't know, which is what it's like to see red. So that seems to mean that the full story about the physical science simply doesn't tell you everything there is to know experience, because Mary knows the full story about physical science, but there's something she doesn't know about experience, namely what it's like to see red. What's your response to that, uh, Yes, good. I, I think it's the same, essentially, uh, uh, namely, uh, uh, <clears throat> my, my response would uh, arise again from uh, my uh, uh, em empiricist commitment, uh, c er, er, my uh, 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 empiricist leanings. Uh, 
that the uh, that if uh, one can't devise a, 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 anything in the way of a program uh, of uh, experimentation, uh, something that would lead to uh, uh, decisive uh, observations, uh, I can't see any other way of uh, uh, of, of providing meaning to a question, and uh, uh, well, uh, and here, here's a the sort of uh, again uh, uh, the same phenomenon that we uh, had with the inverted uh, spectrum, namely, uh, it does seem to make such good sense uh, it, to say that, uh, uh, that Mary's uh, missing something. It makes, seems to make such uh, good sense to ask, as Tom Nagel uh, uh, did, uh, uh, what it's uh, like to be a bat. Uh, but uh, uh, seeming to make sense doesn't necessarily uh, uh, imply making sense. And uh, uh, so the question is to uh, do devise a criterion. Now, we just uh, had from Ned a uh, uh, suggestion of how to do just that in the spectrum case, uh, maybe something equally uh, 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 neat and inviting uh, c could be uh, devised for uh, for Frank uh, Jackson's, but I don't know. Well, supposing we uh, imagine now that uh, Mary, having learned all this science in her monochrome environment, is uh, allowed out into the uh, uh, multicolored environment that we enjoy. And um, her judgment is that uh, now she knows something which she didn't know before. Now she knows what it's like to see red. She's gained a new piece of knowledge. Now, if there's a new piece of knowledge for her to gain, then it seems to follow that she didn't have all the knowledge before, but she had all the physical and physiological knowledge before. Ergo, the physical and physiological knowledge isn't all the knowledge there is about experience. Yes, so this question of knowledge and what counts, what counts. Uh, uh, I think this much would be objective, that she has found a further of stimulatory Q as to uh, uh, the uh, 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 nature of uh, certain things, uh, roses, uh, boiled lobsters, and so on, uh, that she hadn't had before. Uh, and she can explain, again, uh, in full, uh, the s physical mechanism of this thing coming about. But uh, uh, she's uh, spotted a new subjective uh, uh, symptom, this meaning merely that she has uh, uh, acquired the uh, capacity to uh, react in yet a further way neurally. There's a new, new neural connection uh, that's, been, that's uh, been, been forged. 